Mini teddy bear pattern from recycled fabrics. Print out your PDF. You'll need a piece of template plastic. You'll trace all the way around. You'll do all the pieces. You'll put the marks where the registrations are, and then you'll take a tool like this, and you're going to poke holes, and you want it, the holes large enough that your mark be gone or a pencil will fit through the holes. You'll take your template plastic and the right side up, if this had a right and wrong side, you're going to draw all the way around and put your registration marks. Now you can do this several ways. You can either hand embroider. I like to match my embroidery thread to these little bitty pieces. So if I don't get every bit, you won't see it underneath. So to begin with, you want to do your little snout. You want to sew your ears on, take your paper off the back, iron these on. So you're going to sew all these on. And if you're going to sew the eyes, you can do them now. Once all that is sewed on, you'll take your paper off the back. You'll sew that on and you want them, if you can, to overlap the outside edge. So you know you have it. Then if you're going to do the iron on scarf, you would place that on now and then you would sew this on and this on. Or an option is you can hand embroider. You would have to cut out the little pieces of this pattern. You would line up where the marks go. You would take your mark be gone and trace. And then you would hand embroider, hand stitch the outside edge. You don't have to put any of this inside. You can just use these lines to hand embroider. And I just used a sewing machine this time. Went around the arms, snout, the little ears, and the top of the forehead. Instead of doing the scarf like I did on the original one, I just cut a piece of wool, pinking shears, and I'm gonna make a scarf out of that. Now, this is freezer paper. You can iron this, but it will peel right off. You wanna take your plastic pattern. Now, this time you want to use a good magic marker. Trace all the way around, just like you did before. You want to use this to put your registration mark. And that's how we're going to line everything up. So here's the front. And the registration marks are underneath here. Then, once you finish ironing these on and sewing them, you need to put your template back on and you need to put your registration marks on top of what you had just sewn. And these registration marks are on this. There's the registration marks on every one of these which that's what we need. When we go to line this up, we're gonna poke it through here and then we're gonna line it up. Here's my finished piece. It's going to be right side up and we'll pin it from the top through the front. Push it through the back like this. And I just take my marker and give a little mark. I did the eyes and I just poked it through each time. And when it poked through, I just gave it a registration mark. This will help me lining up. I can poke it through the registration. And then what I would do, I don't have my iron down here. I know that that is spot on. I can see that that's lining up. I would take my iron and iron this down. Then I would come up here to this registration. Then I would come through this registration, go through this one, which we're going through a few layers, and then I would iron that top down. Then I take my back, this is the right side, to this right side, and then this would be all ironed down, and I would pin both layers. I usually start like right down here, so real tiny stitches, like a two or 2.5, and don't stop, you know, go over the few stitches that you started. Then you would cut the slit and turn it inside out. Look up there for my other videos, how to stuff, how to do glass beads and eyes. This way it will keep this video very short if you already know how to do it. So I made a small slit in the back, turned it inside out, hand sewed my label on, and on other ones, uh, you could do the glass eyes, you can do embroider eyes. This one I did embroidery all by hand. I did that type of scarf. And then I also did just a loose one so you could see what it would look like. But very, very easy to do. And I'm gonna insert pictures of ones that my friend Mary has done too. This is just to give you an idea. And you can make a bear just using the pattern like this. Roughly how I start my patterns, drawn on half. This one's gonna be all embroidered. That's a little bit more intense, so I'm gonna be doing that video next week. But stay tuned for that, and I will show you that one next week. Please subscribe, hit that bell, all notification, and visit the craft playlist. Don't forget to download your free pattern right below this video. And make sure you like and share. And this is Jersey saying, have an awesome day.